<laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> this is Facebook Live from Rhythmia, take two. The first time was live too, I just put it in the wrong place and I'm very, very sorry. It is my maiden voyage, so please forgive me. And this is great because if you heard the first one, you can hear it again in case I stuttered or stammered or was confusing. So if you already saw it, you don't have to watch it again, um, but you can. So anyway, thank you, I'm sorry, welcome everybody. Um, I'm making sure again, okay, I am on Rhythmia's page, good. My name is Nicole Rager. I am a certified transformational breath facilitator, and I teach the Breath of Life class here at Rhythmia, and it is an honor and a privilege to do so. I love it so, so very much. Um, I've been teaching this work for about five years, and I never cease to be amazed. Even now, I've been at Rhythmia for about a year, uh, teaching these classes, multiple classes a week, and I never cease to be amazed at the power of just working with the breath. So today, there are many different styles of breath work we could teach and go over, and maybe that will happen in the future. But for today, what I'd like to teach you about is transformational breath work, because that is the breath work that really changed my life. And that's um, my love and my specialty, should I say. So in transformational breath work, and the reason we do breath work here at Rhythmia at all is because it is so simple and so powerful, and your breath can affect and benefit every single level of your being. So uh, physical, the physical level of your being, the mental and emotional level, which I'll put together, and then the spiritual level. So we can hit all three of those and receive benefits in all three of those areas just by working with your breath. So the first level, the physical level, obviously the breath is important because you stop breathing, what happens? <laughs> Adios, right? Um, the breath brings you oxygen and revitalizes and gives life to every single one of your cells. So, Physically, what we like to do in this breath work is to help you to use your respiratory system more. So a lot of us are only breathing with certain parts or maybe we're breathing really shallowly or something like that. So I really want you to get familiar with, hey, I have this whole tool here that goes from way down to from your pubic bone all the way up to your collarbones here that can expand when you inhale and exhale. So for you to just like, hey, okay, let's get, let's get comfortable here and utilize the whole thing so that you can really have full benefits of bringing in more oxygen and doing it more efficiently. Um, you bring in more oxygen, like I said, you're supercharging all of your cells. There was a study done, uh, I don't remember the date at the moment, but um, that showed that cancer cannot survive in a fully oxygenated environment. So the more oxygen you bring into your body and really fill your cells with that oxygen, the healthier your body is gonna be. If cancer can't survive in a fully oxygenated space, along with many other anaerobic diseases, there's just no reason not to practice this, you know? So physically, um, all your cells will benefit more oxygen in your blood, your brain, more energy, more detoxification. There's some 70% of the detoxification process happens through inhaling and exhaling. So, okay, that's a physical level. Worst case scenario, you take some few deep breaths, you feel more energy, lighter, clearer, more detoxification. Okay, the mental emotional level. And this is the level that honestly, uh, changed my life or affected me the most with this breath work. Um, I didn't say this in the last video, so I'll say it now, that um, I grew up in a, in a very, let's say, a, a fairly aware home. Let's say I've been in therapy since I was like five. So talking about feelings and things and different techniques for self-expression and just all of that, um, I'm very, very grateful for that. The many tools that my parents gave me and that my family afforded me and all of that and yet there was a time in my life um, 2011 12 ish maybe so well, like six five five years ago or so that I had gone through a breakup and even with all of the years of tools and 
knowledge or experience or ways of trying to help deal with the pain uh, that was stuck in my heart. Um, I was stuck in a really deep grief pattern for about eight months, maybe, or something. So my mother, my wonderful mother, said to me, hey, um, not saying anything bad here, but it seems like maybe you're a little bit stuck. So I would pay for you to go to this breathwork training if you would benefit or if you would be willing. And so I said, sure, whatever, I'll go. You're paying fine. But honestly, I wasn't really drinking the Kool-Aid. I was just like, I was showing up, but for vacation, essentially, you know. And um, But sure enough, the very first session I had with breathwork, I was able to get in touch with that deep, the deep feelings of abandonment and grief and like, well, what do I do now? You know, I was so in love and now this person's not here. What do I do? So that was the first session. And then at the end of the whole week, I was a, a completely different person, I feel. So, and energetically, I really was. So I'm going to tell you because that's my, the, the most like effective part for me. That's the part I talk about, I think, maybe the most passionately. I don't know. Um, why the breath affects the mental and emotional level. And that is because as we go through life and we experience certain things, we have certain emotions come up. The easiest way for us to control that is for us to control our breath. And when something comes up that we don't know what to do with, or we don't want to deal with it, or we don't have the tools, or we don't feel safe, or we're told we shouldn't feel that thing, we shouldn't be sad, you can't cry at work like I have to be strong, or you have to be like, you have to be the man of the house now, or why are you freaking out? Like as a little child, you have some temper tantrum and it's not that big of a deal. I'll get you another toy. So these emotions come up and we don't know what to do with them or we don't know how. And so we contract. It's a survival mechanism that is amazingly built into our bodies and we contract our bodies and there's these little micro muscle contractions around our respiratory system. And so uh, that contraction stops the flow of energy essentially and uh, makes it so the intensity doesn't flow so much so that we can handle it, so that we can survive. But what happens is like we're kind of been in a survival pattern through our whole lives and that's not the way we're meant to live. We're meant to thrive. And we're meant to just go with the flow of these things, take the information from the emotions, feel them, really be with them, and then, okay, then carry on. But we don't do that. We contract and we think if we control our emotions, we control what we're experiencing, then we're going to be fine. And we think those emotions will just go away and they don't. So this record is so cool because when you breathe in an open, connected fashion, you're doing the opposite. Instead of contracting your body, you're expanding your body. And there's a whole energetic principle that comes into play called the law of entrainment. It says when you bring a high vibrational frequency in contact with a low vibrational frequency, the low physically changes form to be more like that of the high. They don't even like meet in the middle. It's like you have this high energy, the low one comes up to be more like close. It will either match or be close to it. So what that means in terms of emotions is what do you think the emotions are that, that you don't want to feel? The shitty ones, you know, the ones that are like, really low vibration. Energies are just energy and motion. They all have a different frequency. One of the lowest frequency emotions that we feel is shame. And I know all of us have felt it at some point, that we feel like whatever we're doing is wrong, whatever that is. And so we try not to feel that. We try to ignore it. We don't want to tell anybody we feel that way. And so we hold that one in. Uh, grief, sadness, fear, uh, loneliness, anger, even like negative thoughts and just like self chatter that says like, oh, I'm not good enough or that person sucks or I don't want to do this or whatever the thing is. Those, those are all energies that, that go through your subconscious and hang out in your electromagnetic field. So when you breathe, it is a very high vibrational energy. And so when you breathe in this open connected way, you have this high frequency that begins to transform, to pull up any of these stored emotions that are hanging out in your body, hanging out in your cells, hanging out in your subconscious, in your whole psyche and electromagnetic field. So when I said I was like, I came into this breath workshop one way, and then I leave a different way, that's because the breath work can actually change your electromagnetic field and start clearing stuff out of your subconscious. So the breath 
can affect you on a mental and emotional level. So that brings us to the third level, which is the spiritual level of your being. And as we clear some of this old gunk that has muddied everything, that has made it maybe difficult to see who we really are, or we start to see people in a certain way, or view others in a way, or view spirit, or view life, or like, oh, it's not safe to trust life, or I, you know, any of these things, because we're a little bit cloudy from all these old, old, repressed experiences and emotions, essentially, as we clear that out, it becomes so much easier for us to connect with who we truly are, our spirit, you know, our love, divinity, perfection, all of that, to, to the great spirit, to the great consciousness, as we clear the garbage out, okay? So uh, that is why we do this technique here, because at Rhythmia, that's what we believe, is that we're meant to remember that, like, who am I? Who is my soul? Who is my authentic, true self? And how do we, how do I express that best in the world? How can I show more love? How can I be freer, happier, more content, more at peace, more in love with life and with others and everything? So there's that. That's my not so much of a nutshell explanation. Um, so I will tell you now how to use this technique. And I'm going to give you just a little maybe a five minute, I say try five minutes when you're first starting, of using connected conscious breathing. I'm gonna bring up uh, my pal Nora, uh, and she will show you, it's easier to demonstrate. Here she is. Hello. Is this good, did I move back? Yes. That's just good. Perfect. This is Nora, she's amazing. We are very blessed to have her here with me as well. She is spreading love all over the place. So, um, and my number one assistant. <laughs> yes, and she's amazing. Her. She's amazing. She's yeah. a great job. Do it again. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, so what's different about this technique is you're going to breathe in and out your mouth. So there's a lot of yogic breaths that maybe you're in and out the nose, which all good. It has a little different purpose. You breathe in and out the mouth here because uh, you can relax some of the tension in your jaw. It also helps you let go of some of the unconscious, subconscious control that you probably have that you have no idea you're doing. So we're going to breathe in and out our mouth in a connected fashion. So that means no pauses between your inhale and exhale. Also, I want you to focus on the inhale. So if there's effort, it sounds like, and then you just let the exhale fall. So you'll see and hopefully hear as she breathes. Also, I mentioned I want you to use the whole of your respiratory system. So most of us are not breathing way, way, way low in our belly. So I would invite her to put her hand low, like below your belly button, so you can feel it. And maybe put another hand on your chest. And you can close your eyes. Uh -huh. And then just begin to breathe in and out your mouth. For those of you that have already been here, this is a great reminder. Good. So you can see her belly's moving. So when you breathe in, your belly should inflate. No more sucking in right now. You just let the air come in. Perfect. You could even breathe in a little bit sooner so there's no pauses. It, it will feel like you're breathing in too soon maybe. But then your body just catches on for you. Perfect. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Even sooner, because it's a tiny little pause. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So you keep thinking about your jaw. Okay, is my jaw relaxed? Uh-huh. My shoulders relax when I exhale. Once you're able to breathe low into your belly, if you're not able, focus there the whole time. So what I invite you to try is five minutes, which is about a hundred of these breaths. So breathing low into your belly. And then once you've got that, you can try to bring your breath up into your chest, which she's already kind of doing. Yeah. Because the goal is for everything to be moving. Like you see a little baby breathing. This whole fluid expansion. Okay. Good. You may start to feel the energy move right away. You may notice it in different places of your body. If you do feel that, I say, awesome. Now you see how simple it is. If you don't feel it, try a little bit longer, maybe 10 minutes if you feel like it, and just to see if anything shifts for you. 
because it's science that your vibration will raise. And so you should begin to feel the energy move. If you don't, all good. Your vibration is still raising even if you don't feel it. So, good. How do you feel? I feel, I feel my energy start building up here and mm -hmm. moving up. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And so what I like to do, if I'm going to do this practice, I try to do it daily. So in the morning, middle of the day, whenever, you can do it when you're starting to feel a little bit stressed out, or right away in the morning, set the tone for your day. How do I want to feel? Is there anything I need to let, or like at night, is there anything you need to let go of? Do that at night. And you can use positive affirmations. And so when you're breathing in, it's safe to breathe, obviously, but some of us don't know that, you know? Um, it's easy to breathe. I receive joy. I receive love. I receive happiness. I receive money. Like, whatever you want, breathe it in, okay? And then if there's something you want to let go of, just let go. I just let, you don't even have to say the thing you want to let go of. Just your exhale is, oh, it's safe to let go. I just let go. I choose to let go. I surrender. Whatever. Okay? Cool? So try that. See how you feel. If you have any questions, comments, Anything, if there's anything you'd like to see or you want more information on, um, I'm not very good at like reading that and talking at the same time. I don't think you're going to see that. So um, comment now and we'll comment later. Good? Sounds good. Did I miss yeah. anything? No. No. Okay, we love you. Have a great day. Breathe a lot. Yes. That's it. Goodbye. Bye. Sorry again for being late.